Hey guys, Matt here. This is uh, part two of my chestnut orchard. This will be the late dropping um, chestnuts. And um, I'm gonna start with uh, probably one of the oldest trees in the orchard. Uh, it's certainly the tallest. Uh, it's probably 20 to 25 feet tall. And uh, it's, um, a nice tree has been producing probably for the last four years or so. Um, I think it's probably eight or nine years old. I can't remember. You can go back and look at some of my other videos and kind of tell when it, uh, how old it is. Um, but anyway, you can tell it's, it's a nice looking tree. Um, Let this car go by. So anyway, it's just now starting to put out leaves. Get a close, close up view here. And I'll walk over to the tree next to it, which is one of the Chinese trees. You can see how a little bit further along they are. You can see uh, it's probably at least, you know, a couple of weeks further along in leaf development. So, anyway. Um, and I have, I have another tree that's even, even, even later than this one. So, um, I'll show you in just a minute. So this is again one of my late droppers. It will uh it will start dropping when I um when I say late, it'll start dropping late September. Well, no, I'm sorry, I Correct that, I'm sorry. Um, Mid-October, mid-October, I'm sorry about that. Mid-October. I keep records on all these things uh, for drop dates, but mid-October. I've got one that, uh, like I said, um, drops a little bit later um, into, uh, later October, early November, so. This one starts dropping uh, mid-October time frame though. So, anyway. Let me kind of back off, I'll show you how big it is. Do a 360. All right, there you go, guys. A late dropping Chinese chestnut. All right, guys. Uh, this tree is another late dropper. Uh, it drops about the same time as the previous tree I showed you. And it's about um as far as long as the tree um as um the previous tree that i showed you but um as you can tell um it it's the one that i did a video on um earlier 
Um, I don't know if you saw it or not, but it had a big long central leader and I pruned it back. Um, you can find that video um, if you kind of uh, hunt around on my YouTube channel. And uh, you can see it there. Kind of decide if I'm going to prune it back some more later. Maybe this winter. Um, I hope that some branches will form off of it. So, anyway, that's why I left it there. So, this tree is the same age as the other one. Um, it's a Chinese uh, Dunstan uh, hybrid whatever. It's the same variety as the uh, the other tree um, that I just showed you. It, it drops about the same time. About, I don't know, mid-October time frame. Um... It has been producing the last three or four years. I failed to mention uh, earlier that um, had a light crop last year, so I'm expecting uh, a bigger crop this year, hopefully. I'll walk around this one instead of doing a 360. Kind of give you a different angle. It's nice that the wind's not blowing as bad. All right. On to the next tree. All right, so this is the uh, final late dropper um, in my orchard. And uh, it's a little bit later than the other two that I just showed you. Um, about a week later or so, um, starting, um, it had its first nut last year. I'm expecting more this year, so we'll see, uh, going forward, um, as far as, um, a more, um, standard drop time. You know, I, it's hard to tell when it's not bearing... I can just tell by when it leaves out and things, um, uh, but you know, when, when it, when it comes out of dormancy, as far as, um, you know, when, when it, when it comes out of dormancy, basically. So, um, you can kind of tell, um, kind of when the tree's gonna, how late the tree's gonna be. Um, this tree always comes out of dormancy a little bit later than the other ones, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, um, anyway, that's a good indication that it might, that it, uh, also may have late dropping, uh, qualities. So I'm hopeful. Um, it, like I said, it, 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 it had a few nuts last year and they held on and held on and held on until um, the last week of October. Um, and I got tired of waiting on them and knocked them out of the tree. They probably would have held on a little bit longer, which would be great because um, I would love to have a tree that would hold on into November, actually. So, um, if, if I had, uh, some nuts I could plant down in the deer woods, um, that had, that would, that would not drop their, their nuts until, you know, um, November time frame, that would be awesome. Late October, um, early November, that would be great. So, um, anyway, this, this tree is my hope in that regard. So, um, we're going to keep a close eye on that one. 
on the on this tree here so this is my what i'm calling my real my late late dropper um it is one that i uh crossed myself um or i'm i'm gonna take credit for it anyway it's one of that i grew um off of uh the two trees that i um showed you previously uh grew from a seedling and uh planted myself here i did not uh buy it from anybody um it, it is a uh, texas grown i grew it and uh I raised it from a seedling. So anyway, I'm taking credit for this one if it's indeed a late dropper. So there you have it. That's uh, my orchard uh, for 2021. Thanks guys.